Within one of our research programs, we aim at the development of polymer-polymer conjugation chemistry that occurs under very, very mild reaction conditions. Some of these reactions, which we have developed, even adhere to the click criteria defined by Barry Sharpless. A typical example from this class of reaction is the reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer heterodiels older process. In that process, a suitable raft end groups reacts with a suitable dyeing at room temperature to facilitate the conjugation. Sometimes you need a little bit, little bit of elevated temperatures and sometimes a catalyst is needed, but always a non-toxic catalyst is needed. The downside of these reactions, however, is that they cannot be spatially controlled. They are triggered by heat or very mild temperatures, but spatial control is not possible. So the impetus of the present work was to develop a polymer-polymer click chemistry that can be spatially controlled, i.e. triggered by light. The reaction proceeds via the following concept. You use a suitable photoenol precursor, which is attached to the end of a polymer chain, and a suitable ene functionality, which is also attached at the end of a polymer chain. Under irradiation, the suitable photoenol precursor is transformed in situ into the diene structure, which then in situ reacts with the ene to give you the linkage. The advantage of this chemistry is that you can use it to produce surface attachment at a specific point of the surface where you want the attachment to take place. So you can spatially pattern a surface with polymer chains. Of course, the technology can also be used to produce complex macromolecular architectures, such as stars or block core polymers, as we've exemplified in the present paper. However, the long-term impetus of the present work is to use it for spatially resolved functionalization of direct laser-written scaffolds with biomarkers, so that then these scaffolds, biomarker decorated in very specific points, can be used for targeted and directed self-attachments. We'll report about these findings in a forthcoming paper. Via irradiation with UV light, the dimer of a benzophenone end group enters an excited state and rearranges into the tautomeric dienoro form. In the presence of an adequate dienophile, such as a malamide functionalized polymer, the photoenol undergoes a diels alder cycle addition, forming the desired block polymer. To perform the photo induced diels alder click conjugation, a degassed acrylamylar solution of the macromolecular building blocks is placed in a sealed vial, which then rotates around a central UV lamp emitting a 320 nanometer. After 100 minutes of irradiation, the vial is removed from the photoreactor. SCC analysis confirms that quantitative conversion is achieved in less than 2 hours reaction time.